In here in the studio, we are really excited. I've actually been infected with a lot of smiles because my next guest has been smiling since she got here. And when Quisi Arthur's song came on, the smile even grew wider. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Her name is Andrea Owusu, a.k.a. If you're a doll. I like the way she says, say your name. If you're a doll. If you're a doll. Yeah. So when you came in Ghana earlier, we heard that you said you have a lot of love to give. Mm -hmm. That's why you chose the name of Well, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm all about love, so, okay. yeah. So then, with, with someone who is always positive and all about love, preaching love, it seems, I don't know, but I feel you don't get people to reciprocate the love you give because um, one day there's this news about you, tomorrow there's this news about you. How do you keep your head up with all these things going on? Because I know myself. Okay. So nothing that's said against me can affect me. Okay. So like I know who I am. Obviously, I feel like negative news travels faster. And these bloggers, they got to eat. Mm -hmm. So um, oh, so you feel they do that just they to do, feed? Of course. It's clickbait. You know that it's clickbait. Because sometimes the headline will be something so derogatory. And then when you read the story, it's mm -hmm. an actual story. People don't read stories, though. They right. read headlines. Headlines, so. that's true. I mean, I've come to understand the game. So before, I wouldn't say it bothered me, it bothered, mm -hmm. it bothered my family, but I made them understand, like, saying it, I'm with you. But how do you feel, like, are you comfortable with people just using your name just to get um, eyeballs to their site, using your name, writing defaming um, stories about you, or headlines about you just to get people to Of course their not. Site? Like, it's, 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 not, it's not positive. Anything that's not positive, I don't like. Mm -hmm. And, I mean... It's wrong, but a time will come where justice will be served to mm. those people. Mm. We know that a lot of art, um, a lot of um, famous people, or should I say celebrities in Ghana, um, they would quickly block you if they feel your negativity mm -hmm. is too much for them. Are you in that Oh, section? like, of course. Me, if you write something that's disgusting under my page, I'm going to block you. Okay. And it's crazy. <laughs> when I block some people, they use a different account. Oh, if you please don't block me. Right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, especially wow. on Twitter. Oh, me, I'm quick to block. Before, I will respond. Okay. But now it's like... I'm using that energy to respond. It's 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 not good. So let me just block you because you don't like me. So why right, are you following me? Right, right. I'm gonna just block you. Okay. Yeah. So what has been one of the darnest things you've heard about yourself that actually got you in your feelings? Um, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> but um, this story came out I think last year yeah. that I had a I had a threesome. Oh, okay. Girl. I, first of all, I'm not into threesomes. I'm a one-man woman. Who is it? A lot of people. You'll you, you be surprised. But um, the story came out that I had a threesome with Shatawale and mm. um, uh, one of his friends that passed away, yeah. Junior. And then they paid me $2,000. So yeah. I'm like, like, how do they get these kind of stories? It seems like every time I'm seen with a guy, mm -hmm. I'm automatically sleeping with a guy. But have you had a one some with him, if not a threesome? I've never had anything sexual with Shata. Shata is someone that I love like a brother, like someone that I'm close to. So I have this bond with him. It's a friendship bond. Okay. And I got for they're not used to seeing guys and girls together or like, what is it? Maybe, well, maybe it has to do with how close you guys are or how close we, we see. Because I think um, earlier last year, or was it in 2019, there was a video, a picture of you in a bathrobe, um, himself too. In it a was robe? a morning coat, in a robe, yeah. Um, where you two were, I don't know if it was breakfast or you were laying by the windowsill and it looked as if you had just come out of the A robe? Bedroom. I've never had a picture with a robe at Shatta, ever. A white robe? I Me? Wish, yeah. Can they pull that up? Because I don't know. <laughs> really? I've never know. But of course, me and Shata were close. Like, we are very close. Where I can be in the same room with him, nothing will happen. We could be in the same bed. The, the crazy thing is we talk about so much. Mm -hmm. If me and Shata start talking now, we don't finish till like the next morning. What do you talk about? Politics, um, the music industry, men, girls he's dating, guys I'm talking to. Okay. Like, oh, so he is dating, but you are I talking mean, like, to Like, girls he's talking to, not okay. dating, because that's the only, the only girl. Well, at least he hasn't home. told me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we just talk about a lot of different things. Okay. So and there's like there's never a bored moment when me it's being shot. Sometimes okay. he'll show me his music, you know. Like he even made a comment that sometimes he makes me listen to his songs before he even puts it out. Okay. So like we have that close relationship, like right. friendship kind of right. relationship. Yeah. So with the whole threesome tag that was put on you, that news, did it affect um, how you related to him after that? No. I mean, obviously, like I, he's seen it and. It, it's, it's become a norm for us to see negative news and we okay. just look it over. Okay. It, it didn't really affect anything. But it's just like my sisters, you know, they read these things and they're like, 
Andrea, why are they always saying bad stuff about you? Right. Like my mom, she's I know she it. gets emotional about it. Oh, they got up why they made my everybody say but like now they're getting used to it. Like mm. they're seeing that that's just showbiz because they talk negative about everyone from Akofado to Ashema Kwame, like Obia. So yeah, no one right. is excluded. Okay, I'm sure uh, the the a lot. Okay, fine. So now we are done with Shata. Let's talk about Kwesi Arthur. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Oh, that, that was a glow. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, no, you're, you're over exaggerating. No, you're blushing. I have blush on. I put blush on. Uh -uh, you're actually blushing. <laughs> that's not true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you so watch your relationship with him like Oh, we're friends. We're cool. Nothing sexual? No. You sure? Yeah. But if it, it had to come up, would you do it? Would you go for it? Uh, me, I'm not it's so I'm gonna say this and it's crazy, but I'm not really a sexual person. Okay. Like I could care less about sex. I can go months without sex. I'm I'm more of like a romantic kind of girl. Mm. I love cuddles, dates and you know, Ooh. like watching Netflix and right. talking and stuff. But um if has he ever approached me? I don't know. You I mean, like him that much. I happen. like, I, do you know something about him? Apart from like him being a fine boy, um, I love his music. Okay. Like if you listen to Kwesi Arthur's music, he talks about real shit. Like, you know, you can relate to him in so many ways True. and he's intelligent. Like there's just so many positive factors about him that right. I like. Yeah. Right, right, so. right. So it could just happen. Maybe if Kwesi had doubled up his steps this past Valentine. Did you celebrate it by yourself? I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, it, but maybe it could have been Netflix and chill with Chrissy in oh, the room talking, <laughs> eating strawberries and candy and chocolate. Hey, what do you <laughs> I'm just saying, you never know. Um, um, what? What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying if he had doubled up his steps, it could have oh, happened. Um, right now, I'm not really in a space where I want to be in a relationship. Like, okay. I'm working on self development. Okay, that's And, nice. you know, finding myself a bit more and understanding myself because. Every day we grow as sure. individuals, and um, we have a lot of things going on in the world. And I'm trying to find my my space and my place within the world. Mm. So this is beautiful. I bet a lot of people didn't think if you're like the, the only part we see is her showing skin, mm -hmm. and today there's this news about her. We've never really got a chance to listen to you like this. Yeah. Well, so I, I don't know, but I, I believe a lot of people don't even know that you were an assistant nurse before you came to go. Well, I was. I wasn't. We wouldn't say assistant nurse per okay. se, but it was more like I was working in the medical field. But it wasn't like something as serious that I. It could have gotten serious, but then. I came to Ghana. But why and then, did you? Why did you? Because I wanted to follow my dream, and my dream was to be, you know, an actress and to okay. do movies. And okay. I believe in following your dreams mm. before anything. You know, African parents—they always put this thing into you that oh, it's either you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, something. Mm -hmm. They look down mm -hmm. on the arts field. You know, they look down on musicians and stuff like that. So. I just wanted to follow my dreams and that's what I did. But okay. the future is bright. You never Very. know. I might go back, you know, get my PhD or something. Or master's okay, or something. so yeah. how, how is it going for you, the, the field you're in now? It's a gradual process. I mean, um, I'm reaping the benefits, I think, now. Because okay. I worked my way to the top, to where I am. So, I mean, I think it's going on well. I just shot an amazing um, reality show in Ooh. the States. Yeah, okay. Which is going to come out this year. Um, it's called My African Love. Thank you very much. And... Right. There's just so much more. I don't. I, I hate talking about the things that I'm doing. I so like to done. finish it and then expose it. Okay. So yeah. I know that. Um, oh, I hear that when you came to Ghana, it was Enoch who Enoch the producer. You. Yeah. yeah Enoch the producer. Enoch Atakra, Yeah. Okay. So how's your relation with him? He's over there. Uh, I'm, 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 I don't he's, know. Um, I don't see him. I'm talking to you. He's my he's um he's my manager at the moment in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so it, it means he's been good to you. He's been since like since twenty. I came to Ghana the ending of twenty fourteen. Since okay. the day I came to Ghana till now, Enoch has been by my side, and I will always be loyal to him because mm. he's. He's amazing. Enoch Ooh. is someone that if he got your back, he got your back no matter what. So, yeah, kudos, kudos. Shout out to Enoch, honestly. I love him. He's an amazing individual. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know why. It seems I'm now processing things. Wow, but really? Shout out to Enoch, like yeah. you said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca has a lot to say, but he <laughs> going, he's not going to get a platform to say anything <laughs> here. Right. So now let's move away from that. Let's come to the fact that you've done a bit of TV. You've done radio. What happened? With what? With both, because okay. we know you did it for a period. Was it because mm -hmm. it was um, the time frame you signed a contract for that period? Mm -hmm. Or is the fact that maybe you didn't see it going anywhere until you okay. let it go? So with the, um, with 
Quest TV. I was working on uh, at Quest TV. Yeah. Obviously, the station is no longer, and I think they're transitioning uh, into a different uh, station. So, oh, okay. I, so once Quest TV was canceled, I was like, okay, well. I'm let, me move. Move. let me move on to something else. Okay. Um, and I was there for about a year. It was amazing, mm -hmm. a great experience. Mm -hmm. I've never done like live TV or like, you know, being a presenter. Yeah. And it was amazing. Now with the radio, um, it was it was something I wanted to, I'm a kind of person that if I want to try something, I got to try it. If I don't try it, it's going to kill me. Okay. I wanted to try radio. I tried it. They don't like it so much and I left. Why, what, was, what, was it, what about it didn't you like? Because I feel radio is beautiful. You get to be yourself. You get to be free. And then it's just your voice. It's just you communicating to the people. Right. Maybe it's it's what I was doing. Okay. Maybe I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Okay. And maybe the, the direction they gave me wasn't really the direction that I wanted, you wanted. to head into. Okay. So, yeah, because it was more like tree. And I'm not really good in tree. And it's like every it's time. tree, Me to tree, but like, oh, so and it's like and it's like you gotta speak trees straight okay. and make it channel the bro food frame because it's like yeah but um yeah i don't think i want to do radio but i do i do love being on tv okay. but you guys will see more of me on tv version. okay we are waiting to see that <laughs> now you did mention that most of the time and um, when your mom hears the news or she sees the publications about you she gets emotional about it as every mother will yeah okay so this this has to do with your style of dressing. I am not here to judge. Mm -hmm, Nobody has the yeah. right to judge anybody. But Ghanaians are of the perception that um, you have to be dressed a certain type of way to be, as an African girl, to be appreciated and to be a more a, a modest woman. But then we see you because, I, someone might say because of where you, you, you lived or where right. you grew up, um, it's a different setting for you and all of that. Does these news or does any of these things that people say about you get to you by the way like i said i love what you're wearing today <laughs> thank you it's very, very beautiful thank you does it get to you are you forced to follow the norms of the african way like it is done here in ghana or you just love being yourself and that's all your focus baby on? girl i am i am a fjord though i'm gonna be me to the day i die right. if i want to wear a bikini to, the thing is people usually see me with a bikini on by the pool, because mm -hmm. I, I assume people wear bikinis to the pool. I don't right. see anybody wearing jalabia to the pool. Right. I'm usually in my when I'm in my house, I'm sexy. I'm sexy 24 seven. I got my shorts on, mm -hmm. and usually when I'm posting on my social media, I'm posting from home. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, I am gonna be me regardless of what anyone has to say, because at the end of the day, nobody's putting food on my table. Nobody's taking care of me. The things mm -hmm. they say don't do nothing for me. Right. So why should I allow outsiders? have an influence on who and what I am. Okay. I'm happy with myself. Okay. People that are talking bad about me are not even happy with themselves. Okay. So their misery loves company and they're trying to draw me down to the level that they're at and that would never happen. Mm. You get mm. what I'm saying? Mm. So why should I let somebody who's miserable with their life and the things they say affect how I feel? Mm. They want me to feel the same way that they're feeling. Okay. How do you, how, how do you in a word, if you're to cla um, classify or to tag our industry, what word would you give to it? The industry. Yeah. Our <laughs> entertainment industry in Ghana. Um, one word? Yeah. I got more than one word. Okay. Tell me what it is. Um, there is lack of support. Okay. Um, there are not a lot of innovative ideas within the industry. I feel okay. like everything is re-ran. Um, we don't have the proper infrastructure mm. to do the things we want to do. Mm. Um, People, are, people don't properly invest into the arts, like when it comes to like, you know, musicians or movies, you know. Mm -hmm. But the ones they do properly invest, they're on Netflix. Okay. Um, there's yeah. this one movie, I, for, I forgot the name, but it was so amazing. Uh, it was directed and produced by a Ghanaian, um, a Ghanaian director in the States. Okay. It had Yvonne Okora inside, it had um, Lucky Lawson inside, and it had some American actor. It's on Netflix, it's a beautiful movie. I wish I remembered the name. Mm. But if you do great, people are gonna appreciate it. Okay. You can't force people to watch bullshit. I mean, I'm sorry, you can't force people to watch something they don't like. True. That's why they watch the telenovelas, that's why they watch Kung Kung Baji, that's why they watch everything else okay. that's not you know really Ghanaian right. so I feel like people just need to put more work and more create creativity inside of their work okay so you you mentioned that um there isn't support in our industry right um people in there how would you classify your relations with your colleagues in the industry ain't no relation it's high and by if I see you I see if I don't I don't you don't make friends you don't have friends there's no such thing as friends in the industry. Okay. There's people who need you and they call you when they need you. There's people when you see them, it's high, and then when you don't see them, it's bye. Whatever. So there's no kind of 
friendship. I mean, there are people that you do get close to, but for me to call somebody a friend, like you gotta be somebody I talk to on a regular. Um, we see each other on a regular. I confide in you, you confide in me. You get what I'm saying? Right. But people are users. And I think it's, it's become a norm. You know, okay. you call me when you need me and I'll call you when I need you. Okay. Do you feel that um, our females in the industry are, are against each other? They compete with each other? Competition is good. You get what I'm saying? Like, well, I think there are types of competition. There's, there's, there's negative healthy. and there's positive, right? Yeah. Um, the females in the industry, do they compete with each other? Mm -hmm. Are they? I mean, what are they competing each other for? There's so much room on the table. Okay. But I don't see the point in competing with each other when you guys can help each other. But I feel like some people feel like they're bigger than others. Okay. Some people feel like they're better than others. Some people are so consumed with the hype that they mm. think that they are the ish. And in reality, you're nothing. So a lot of people in this industry need to be a bit more humble. Okay, so you think humility is going to help our industry go Humility better. will help everyone. It will help me, it will help you, it will help mm. everybody. Mm -hmm. But there's a lack of humility um, with certain individuals in the industry. Okay, beautiful. Wow. I'm, I'm really enjoying our conversation, <laughs> I, should, I should tell you. <laughs> and it's still linked up right here on Xylophone TV. I am talking to the one and only Ifya Odor. Uh, that's how she says her name. So if you need to step out, like I always say, you can just stream the show live on Facebook. So if you need to go out, don't worry. You're not losing or missing out on anything. Just switch to Facebook and enjoy the show. And if you're an artist out there, up and coming artist, you've got videos to show, you want the world to see your talents, come join our Jokebox collection. And trust me, the whole world is going to get to know about you and would appreciate your craft for what it's worth, right? So you can just call us, um, send us a text. I see a lot of messages coming in. Hey, hmm. If you, I don't know if I can finish reading your messages today. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate it all. Send your messages through to us. Tell us about your videos. It's just as a, at a very, very small fee. Come join the collection or the jukebox section and get a slot to perform at any live show, right? Okay, so to my talk here, let's go take a look at some videos if you are selected her first song should i, should I, should I oh <laughs> right so your top you gave us your top three players yes, right I did. let's do the first one okay so should i say or yes you please say, say it? so number one on my playlist is quasi author live from two three three <laughs> what else like what else let's take a watch we'll be right back so we are back that was her first song on her playlist she gave us three top three yeah and i don't know are you always the one who sees writing his songs oh <laughs> i'm just asking who's, you are singing word back for to, word back to that I listen, I listen to like i listen i listen to him and i love his music oh my god <laughs> this is beautiful like we should all have loyal fans like if you're though mm -hmm. I'm Seriously. Right, so we're going to do some messages. I wish you could come read your messages yourself, but yeah. <laughs> let me do you the honest. This one says, hi, good afternoon. Hi, if you're a doll, you are my number one role model. I am Aww. Selena from Castlan City. Okay, Selena, thank you for your message. This one also says, good afternoon, Xylophone. That's my female hero out there. She once liked my photos on IG, and that was all. I beg, tell her to open her DM small <laughs> for me. Why? More fire. I am a, a cact from Asham and the handle is Takrache. Okay, Takrache. Okay. Uh, should we do okay. that? Hello, please. I want to pass through a link up. I'm Coffee Stone. Please, what are the terms and conditions? Coffee, don't worry. We will get back to you right after the show. Believe me on that. This one says, Hi, please, if you are... Please tell Ifia that she looks so cute. I wish her the best in life. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. If you're Odo, I love your hair and you look so cute. I should other so. Good afternoon. I, I love this girl too much. Okay, Aww. beautiful. Um, hi, madam. I always watch this station because of you. I like you, but... Uh, okay, your message is not complete, but thank you very much. Um, always watch the show. I just love if you're a she is real. I wish I had enough confidence just like her. I am Abena Unique. Hey, Abena Unique from Agogo. Okay. Abna, thank you for your message. Big shout outs to Friday Girl No. Uh, big shout outs to Friday Girl No Yeah, real for Mad blay inside comerica okay for life comerica for life i know right what of the video shatawale had here oh what delete it ah, oh. why did you delete it okay so i'll do one more and then we'll go hello i'm kelvin from upsa tell her ken selassie i cherish her so much greetings all right thank you keep your messages coming through um if y'all come and read the rest of the messages <laughs> but by uh, before then 
If you are, um, is there ever going to be a reconciliation between you and DKB? Are you ever going to forgive him? Forgive him for what? He's being who he is. I can't forgive him for being a fool. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure I heard that right. You didn't Can say I that. repeat it? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure I heard it right. So if you can. DKB is who he is. Okay. He likes a fool. I'm not gonna, I can't forgive him for being himself. That's who he is. I, he's, he's a non-factor. He's irrelevant. He, wow. Oh my God. So now let's, I'm confused. I don't know if I should say, <laughs> if I should stand. If, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> like, does any of the things he does or say hurt you? I don't even see it unless someone's come to tell me. I, okay. Like, that's how much I don't think about him. Like, I, I could care less about him. I don't... He's not someone I would even look at once. You've never met him? I have. He's come to me for clout, as usual. He came... I, the first time I met him was um, when me and my ex broke up, Rev. And he came hmm. to Crusade TV to purposely do a video because that time it was trending. Mm. You know, and... Um, they kept, he's, he's a nobody to me, so I don't really care about him or the things that he says. Wow, don't you think that's too harsh? Don't you think the things that he says is too harsh? Calling me a prostitute and a show and all these negative things? You know, when I say something, oh my God, I feel those being so, but then they forget the things that made me do it. I'm minding my business. Right. I don't bother nobody. Right. But if you come for me, you're going to regret it. Ooh. And that's what happens. Ooh. Now let's talk about Revlo. Well, what? I shouldn't have said anything about it. Was, it was actually you're coming out. Like it was coming. What happened? Because you guys seem to be the poor couple at the time. Everybody, no. couple goes, and people will show me your photos and be like, this could be you, but... Oh. oh, yeah, like, I got that a lot. So what happened? I mean, we, things didn't work out. Like, me, when I get into any relationship, friendship, whatever, mm -hmm. I don't get it in it to come out. But um, I guess we didn't really get to know each other more before we even got into a relationship, but then even let the world see us. Right. And that was a problem, you know. Revlo had his own things going on um, that he couldn't really communicate to me about. And okay. it was disturbing me at the time. So it was just, there was just too much negative conflict that was going on. So, I mean, we're cool. We're okay. not enemies. So it just didn't work out. Right. So going forward, would you take your time in letting the public know who you're dating or you'd still... Oh, definitely. I feel like... Um, it, in anything I do now, I really take my time with okay. it. Like I said, I'm self-developing, understanding how things work with the universe, within myself. So like anything that I'm doing now, I really make sure that I've, I've conquered it to okay. the maximum amount before I even share it to the public. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's very, very beautiful. <laughs> right. So um, we, we, we'll play a game at the end of the show. Oh, really? okay. Yes, we will. But before we do that, um, do you think beef or, yeah, beef? in the industry helps at all? Does beef in the industry help? <clears throat> beef is, um, it's not something positive. You get what I'm saying? Right. Especially when people are jabbing and coming at each other negatively, disrespectfully. But um, I feel like it's, it's entertainment. You know, it's entertaining for um, the fans and whatnot. But there's just, there's positive and negative sides of it. So as long as both parties know that, yo, it's just, beef let's not take it to the next level where right. it gets physical right. then it gets dangerous but if you're going to use that beef and, and let it push you into making better music mm -hmm. or bettering yourself then yeah of course why mm -hmm. not yeah okay. beautiful right congratulations on your new deal thank you um i hear dkb again um, coming to say that he told you to dress up well and then you get a lot of great ambassadorial deals coming your way. <laughs> so do you think his advice is His what advice to who? To, oh Can DKB God. advise me? I, I don't think so. Statement. I don't even... DKB... Put DKB to the side. He's a non-fact. I don't like spending my energy and my time on people who are not relevant to me in my life. Okay. Um, this deal... Come to know, they were actually messaging me for a while, but because my inbox gets so full, mm. um, I didn't see it. He has nothing to do with my ambassadorial deal. And my way of dressing has nothing to do with my ambassadorial. They loved me as a personality. And, you know, they're international, so their way of thinking is completely different, different from, you know, uh, Ghanaians and Africans' way of thinking. Right. So it's... And all the things that I wear, they're in my closet. Mm. So that means mm. these are my clothes that I already have. 
I'm not gonna wear something skimpy to a professional set. Right. You know, if I'm going to the club, I'm gonna have fun with my girls. Of course, I'm gonna show some skin. If I'm going to the beach, I'm gonna reiterate. If I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the pool. I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna show skin. Right. There's an occasion for every outfit, but I don't know. People want me to be wearing. How good is the money? <laughs> with <laughs> have you seen the furniture? I have, and they are beautiful. Of course. Am I going to get one from you? Oh, you never know. I I do love to bless people. Oh, bless you. <laughs> bless you, bless me. Bless you. But how good was the money? It's oh, the money. It's, 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 hmm. it's speechless. I see how Betis trying I'll to give you some signs. <laughs> I don't know what he wants to say. It's, it's, um, you guys will see. It's juicy, huh? You'll see. You'll see it. You, you know, when somebody is making money and they're leveling up, you see it. Ooh. So you'll see it. Interesting. <laughs> right, so um, we're going to take a look at your last two um, videos. or Yes, on your playlist, mm -hmm. of course. And then we'll come back and play our game. You okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, so tell us your last two songs. So the last two songs, the first one is Condemn by J Bad. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is Jackie Forever. Okay. A lot of work. Like, you got to right. do all these things. I ain't got time for that. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't... Okay. Nah. So we're going to go now. Um, we... We, yeah, we would want you to relay a message to Shatawali to give out a message. But before that, the whole thing about the wine, the wine shop, shop Shata betraying you and all of that, was there any truth in it? Um, it wasn't like Shata betraying me. Shata and Shata. Um, it's just the woman who was very unprofessional with, okay. with what she did and how things went about. But um, yeah, I just, I wish her the best of luck with her life and her new fame that she wanted so bad. Oh my God. But do you think it, she did that purposely to um she turn wanted a, your, she wanted fame head? she wanted she wanted clout okay. she wanted attention okay nowadays you see her being posted on the blogs like she's a celebrity <laughs> so you know you see what you see the intentions of people later on you know it sucks that I got the backhand of it you know not very negatively but um right. yeah so you're over yeah. it I'm so over it okay so yeah. that's your camera you might have a message for Ch Shata Wale. And then after Shata's message, you have one for Kwesi. <laughs> and then you can have one for your fans as well. Okay. So and your social media handles, of course. Okay. So my message to Shata Wale is, Shata Wale, you owe me $50,000 because you were supposed to come to my event and you <laughs> didn't come. So, yeah, get off of live on Facebook because you're always on live on Facebook and return my messages. Thank you. Okay. To Kwesi Arthur. Hi, Kwesi. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're waiting for your album. Hello. I need some new music. Thank you. To the fans. Hi fans. Oh my god. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. I've got amazing things in store. So just, you know, keep loving me and okay. keep appreciating me. I love Social you. Social handle. Social media is FFO underscore Odo on Instagram, FFO Odo one on Twitter, FFO Odo on Facebook, and FFO Odo on Snapchat. Okay, so if you are, I promise the fans that you were going to do their message. Okay. So, please so should I go read some? Yes. Tell if I like it. Tell it. Please do okay. it. Okay, let me take this right. off. Okay, so... Um, I love Effia. Okay. Okay. Effia Oda, I love you so much. <clears throat> My all-time crush. Minya accidents no ache. Huh? Crush no no ache. So minya accidents no ache. Hey, it's your boy. <laughs> um, hello, I'm Shadrach from Tashi. Shout out to my. Bay Sakina in Shukoda, please play me Joel by David Okumasi. I did for you men as well. We did for you too. Um. Hi, good afternoon. I'm a, a peer to from Baoku. Please, you're so beautiful to me. It's Baoku, not Baoku. Oh, ba 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 Baoku. Yeah, Baoku. 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 Yeah. Sorry, Shadow. <laughs> um, please, you're so beautiful to me. I love you. Can you call me with this number? 024. Okay, I'll call you, boo. I'll call you. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, this Tara Effia, mm -hmm. uh, her accent is really making my something they dump. Hey, boy, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah kind. Uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you see how much people. There's so many love messages. You. I really so love you. So many messages. We can't finish. I'll just send them to your phone. Yes. When you get home, you you read them. All of them. Yes. Okay. And before we sign off, um, this has been an amazing show. Today's show has been beautiful. It's been with the one and only Efiodo. Earlier we had Ken Jerry join us here. Right, right, right. And so, yeah, now just know that we are signing off, but we are not saying goodbye. DJ Parker Rich is coming your way with Afrofuge right about now. And tomorrow at noon, that is 12 o'clock p.m., we're going to have a repeat of the show. So in case you missed the beginning, you can just tune in tomorrow at 12 to enjoy. This is a PS playlist, the last.